I'm going to try to remain as calm as possible. My blood pressure might go through the roof after this, but that's okay. I'm going to remain calm. And I suggest all you Bulls fans out there, remain calm as well. But what the f are y'all doing, Chicago? Chairman, Jerry, please. It's been a long time coming, and I'm surprised you haven't done it yet. Come on, Jerry. Jerry. Poppy, come on. What, what you doing? You gotta do it, man. Just pull the trigger. You know how to fire, Jerry. Jerry, come on. Paxton gotta go. Foreman gotta go. Y'all gotta clean house. They're fucking up your team. They're fucking up my team. Let's start from the beginning. We had a great coach, dude. And what you do the following year, you cut him. Then after that, you got rid of Derrick Rose, which it was cool, man. I mean, it's a pain in the ass knowing Derrick Rose has high potential, but at the same time, he's scared to play because he doesn't want to mess up his knees and raise his kid or whatever. That's cool. That's understandable. You got rid of him. But for who? For who, bro? Robin Lopez and fucking George Car Cardinone, Grants and shit? And we give him Derrick Rose and a second round draft pick. If that doesn't make it boil, man. Not only that, but Joe Quinone left too. Y'all also got Dwayne Wade. Five years too late. Rajon Rondo? You know how many point guards Chicago Bulls have now? I'm about to find out. Five. Ah, yes, five is the number. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, five, beautiful five. If that doesn't convince you to fire him, Jerry, let's, let's just look at this trade that just happened. I thought it was just me, but I go look at everybody commenting on your Bulls Twitter page or whatever, which by the way, follow us at the Rebels family, you know what I mean? I look at all the tweets and every single one said the same thing, fire them. Let's just look at this trade real quick. Let's look at this trade, okay? We got rid of Doug McDermott. A great offensive player, a great shooter. Taj Gibson, I understand he's getting up there on age, but he still you can replace his toughness and his defensive ability. Not only that, but you also throw in a 2018 second round pick. What do we get? Anthony Morrow. Then we got LeBurn, whoever the fuck this dude is. Let's, I don't even know who the fuck this dude is, to be honest. Let's, let's Google him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> y'all telling me y'all traded Gibson for this fool? Congratulations, you played yourself. And now, Russell Westbrook stands partner. I got the ABC James, damn, rocking the Javanji James, damn, got your bitch on my dick, damn, no, I do not run away, damn. Are you? Fucking kidding me, dude. <sighs> Please, J Jerry. Jerry, bro, come on. <laughs> Let's see what Paxton has to say. This is quote. This one made a lot of sense for us. <laughs> How? How, bro? Jimmy Butler, bro, if these two guys don't leave, Please leave. You deserve to be on a team that knows what they're doing. And when you do leave, I won't blame you. I'll applaud you. Leave before they fucking trade you for a sack of marbles, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. Chicago Bulls, I know I might not mean anything, or I'm just one out of a million people, or three million people that support you guys on Twitter or whatever, all over the world. Today is February 23rd. I will no longer support this Bulls team until they get rid of these two fuckheads. I will no longer be wearing any Bulls merchandise at all. I'm gonna store it up in my attic. See the Chicago Bulls shit? It don't mean shit right now. Jerry, y'all know what to do. I'm done. Fucking bullshit.